every now and then I believe there's a moment in the culture that's going to live for a very long time. I've been uh, around the block a few times and I've had the pleasure of interviewing some people that have not only made impacts in their city, but have been successful artists, successful comedians, whatever you want to call it. But this interview is really special to me for a multitude of reasons. The first being, um, I met this gentleman in a club, I believe, like a couple years ago, and he was just grinding it out. He, I actually saw him out the gate checking. Uh, he's just pulling up the clubs, lighting people up, getting, a, getting whatever bag that he was getting at the time. And I actually seen this gentleman um, making his way through the city of Memphis, just grinding, just grinding. And then I look up on Instagram, a few thousand followers and turned into 10 and 10 and turned into 15 and 15 and turned into 20. And, and, and from there, I started seeing this dude give cars back to people in his hometown city, our hometown city of Memphis. I done seen this dude do giveaways. I done seen this dude put his, some of his homies in position to win, to eat. So with all that being said, Memphis, this is for you. I know this one's going to reach a lot of people, but Memphis, this is for the hometown. Yours truly, Mr. Telefero. I have a special guest in the building. His name is Grove Hero Family. How are you doing today, sir? What's going on? Long introduction, man. <laughs> I tried to big you up, bro. <laughs> I gave you everything I had. God, was it? Was... Man, you ain't giving me enough flowers. <laughs> How many more flowers you want, bro? I mean, I feel like... Two more. Okay. All right. Uh, this dude is a guy that... Uh, <laughs> he did it and he was handicapped. Well, I ain't even throwing the oh, handicap. Okay. He, he, <laughs> he did all this by... Oh, he, 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 he Give me some more success. Pop your ears. Tell me. I tell want to see it I'm brave. You see. You know what? I, I I feel like we'll get into it as the interview progresses, bro. Yeah, we don't. Like, my foot in your <laughs> Grove, if you don't buy, bro, what I would like to do in, in, in starting out here is just kick it off by telling some of the people. Hold on. Hey, look, bro. Hey, look, bro. Get your ass up off the phone while we doing this interview. Look, bro. Mitch. Get your garbage ass out of here while we on the phone. We, you see we doing the interview? You want to get your garbage ass up out here if I had to put my foot in your ass. What's my name? Match. Match. He said try. Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah, so y'all see him exiting as you see. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, that was pretty rude. Yeah, I know. That was fucked up, bro. Up I done waited nine hours for this goddamn bit of you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Uh, if we, all right, we're going to do it like this. You might need to keep doing it in there. It's, it's <laughs> I might have to. It's actually funny. It's my one life, and I give it everything I got. I am music. I am sports. I am the culture. We rocking out to Mr. Telefero at the Mr. Telefero show. Fuck you, Miss <laughs> You did. So where I want to start this bad boy off at is kind of talking about your story, I'm assuming you're broke. I've seen you speak about this a couple times on your platform. You're broke. Te walk me through the process of, okay, I'm broke. I need to find a way to provide for me and my family. How did this all start for you, bro? Man, I didn't know that this shit was going to happen like this. Hmm. Shit, I, I thought that I was going to still be broke. This shit just happened out of nowhere. It's just, man, I don't understand. This shit just happened. I don't know where I, I did. I, I was going live mm -hmm. and shit, just going around checking people on live. People was tuning in. The next minute, I'm a grown hero. So, I can't, I can't explain this shit. You, you say you're checking people. At what point? Because you used to have a tag team partner, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? Flying Hollis, Carlos. My at, boy's still today. At what point did you realize, all right, we gaining a little bit of momentum. This is some shit that we could find a way to translate and convert over to something we could do for a living? I never did think I can do this shit for a living or this shit was going to change my life. I, right. mean, I was just doing it for fun because I like to be annoying. I like to mm -hmm. talk shit. And that's just what I like to do. And it just turned up. And, and it turned that into some shit. Like, I ain't mean for it to happen like this. It just... What happened? So you're from Fraser, correct? Yeah. So I'm three eight one two eight. 
And I think you three right. are yeah. I'm, I'm, what I'm right. I'm I crow my crow to your crow. I'm like dead in between right there. So walk me through a little bit your upbringing, right? You 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 flaunt you 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 never hid that you're handicapped, which I think is super dope because so many people out there are ashamed of any disability that they might have. You've actually flipped that bad boy into a brand. Talk to me a little bit about your upbringing, and as we get towards your music selection as well, what did you grow up on listening to music? But talk to me a little bit more about your upbringing. What was it like being at that point not Grove Hero Mario, right? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about your upbringing. I mean, it was tough. Just picture being having a disability and mm -hmm. you the only person like this. Yes. Ain't nobody else like this. Like I'm the only person like this. It's like in in Frazier, like I'm walking around like. You know what I'm saying? I gotta I gotta try to hide my shit. I don't know what girls think of me on. <laughs> like it's just it's sad. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's a I wanna put this shit on nobody. If you ain't no strong individual, it's not for you. It's most definitely not for you. Was it this shit worse than losing a loved one? This shit worse than mine going day to day being broke. It's worse. Because you have to it's like you have to you have to deal with it on another level to where people is looking at you like like what's wrong with his mm -hmm. arm like his kids and other grown people like mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and it's a self-esteem issue was it a point at school where you was okay all right let, let's just tell a little quick story Grove. i went to craig Mutt. I, you know i'm sure you craig Mutt. when i was at craig Mutt in my middle towards high school i had plugs on and they lit my ass up every day. But you know, that ain't nothing. Bro. Plugs was sick. Bro, two years of plugs when no chick trying to talk to the nigga with the bro, plugs in the head. Nothing. No, I'm not comparing it to, I'm saying, I'm asking you, I'm I know how it was. I'm saying choose that over this. Right. Oh, of course bro. you choose. But I'm saying, was it? Because, because this, the hand is more than just what people see. Mm. It's like the stuff that you got to deal with, like tying your shoe. Like learning how to put on your goddamn That's clothes. Crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Learning how to eat with just one hand. Learn how to play sports. Learn how to, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Navigate throughout life with this shit. But I'm saying, was it to the point where every day was a, not just a, a struggle internally with you, going around, being around people, was that part of it a struggle? Yes, a super struggle. Because you don't know what people think. Mm. And then everybody else know them, man. You're not. I guess the obvious question would be with all the success that you've had and we're going to get to that more in a second is that something that could be can you fix your hand? I wouldn't do that bro. But it's, can you though? Can you could just put somebody out there? I heard I could but I wouldn't do that. That's like that's like bro God created me like this. Mm. He wanted me like this. I want I'm I'm cool being like this and it's uplifting to the kids and people who like feel like they can't make it or mm -hmm. feel like that this is hindering them in life. You know what I'm saying? And it make and, and not it make everybody more strong about seeing somebody like me prospering through life it being can, this way. You it, know what I'm saying? It kinda reminds me of the um the J. Cole Crooked Smile. Remember when he when he came out with that with that uh the single and he said, like, yo, I obviously I got enough money to change shit right now for my, my teeth and everything. But now it's almost like a badge of armor for me. Like I gotta I gotta wear that because that's what kinda helped me helped him in, you know, in his growth and I'm assuming with you. The arm was like the center of the brain at the gate. Not it wasn't the fact that this nigga was funny as hell checking. Cause I just like you cause you just funny as hell. you you were one of the only niggas in two thousand, whatever year it was. That was just funny with checking. I thought the shit that got corny, but your shit, you and you, you and and, and Flame Olives, y'all niggas was just funny. But we had a plan. It's like I ain't want like the whole time we were doing this shit. I was planning this shit. Like, mm -hmm. bro, we can't do this shit that much. We can't do this. Like, mm -hmm. like we was like we we can go two days a week with this shit. Like mm -hmm. we can, you know what I'm saying? And it's so strategic. Like who we check to? We ain't just mm -hmm. checking no celebrities. We checking motherfuckers. Everybody know in the city. So it's funny anyway. It's gonna be funny. Like, damn, they might just chicks on. So like, you know. Boy, what I, mean? I know y'all hurt some feelings. I know some people got in their feelings over that. Yeah, it was a few people got in their feelings, but you know. Okay, but let, let's get back on the timeline of, of you and your upbringing. So, okay, you dealing with with the hand, and then we get towards let's say middle school, high school. I always wanted to know what were some 
artists that you were listening to out of the city? Was it the typical guys at the time? Is the, the three six of the world? What were you listening to musically? Because I have to assume at some point the the people you looked at as inspirations musically or in your life period had to have some small impact on some of the decisions and some of the plays that you make today. I really was on. I really, I really was on Jeezy. Mm. Like that was my favorite rapper, Jeezy. I was on Jeezy, Fifty Cent. Like that what I was on. I wasn't really on nobody else. Because we had the Gucci era in high school. We had, we had. Me being from Fresh, we was on God too. Like that's what we was on. So you grew up through the cocaine. You like you actually yeah. fucked with it. Because yeah. that, that that would be a misconception, yeah, my, like my, yo. My hood, my hood, six minutes from Rich Chris, Chris. Chris, bro. Like we just can you can you bump it today? Yes. Do you bump it today? Sometimes. Okay. I was just asking. I was just asking. But not, but but because I ain't really like no no really music head mm. like this. So I I don't really have to have no music. But like I listen to them like but I mindly listen to dog like that's what I bump every day. Glock, down like we gonna get but, but I bump whoever like I ain't it ain't no bro I ain't finna listen to a nigga music cause a nigga bro that childish bro like we grown men bro we gonna get into the paper right empire part of it in a second um so we get to the point where you're making money enough to provide for you and your family what was the inspiration because I believe the first truck was the was it the the ice cream truck first or what was it nah the- it was out it was the detail truck. What went into saying, okay, some of this money that I'm making, let's find a way to legalize it, or let, let's not just legalize it, but let's find a way to make it profitable for just uh, other people outside of self. How did that come about, the detail truck? Really, all this shit turned out from no money. It was all for my hood. Like, mm-hmm. man, I'm feeling like the detail truck was about getting some money because I wanted to, I was like, man, I just thought it was a brilliant idea. I'm like, man, I'm- what if I name this motherfucking truck handicap detail and I go around washing car? I ain't believe in that shit, but I ain't give a fuck. I was like, let me try some shit. But all the other shit came with being in the hood and knowing people struggle, knowing how people can't eat, knowing how people don't have money to afford being able to go out to eat. Or, you know what I'm saying? So I want to make my own shit and pull up in my hood and give away free shit because I ain't give a fuck. And I knew the food cost is high, but that shit ain't shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this shit came about. For me having my hood, me having my 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 part of time. So we start with the detail truck. Shit's bubbling. People out. Are, are you promoting through Instagram at the time? Like how you, uh, yeah. how are you? How is this working? Because one thing I've noticed about you, and I and I mean this, bro. I bet we could put people who's got millions upon millions of followers on Instagram next to your Instagram account. And I'd bet my last dollar, their engagements don't come a shit close to yours. Because you got that special relationship with people that's really rare. Like, if you really think about it, just your Instagram for me has become daily television. It is a 15 to 20, especially when y'all were doing the tour. It is like, oh, let me check in. I like that. I like what he does. Usually it promotes positivity. I get to laugh a little bit in, in between. And I'm watching this dude motivate and help his homies. Your Instagram has, it's it's so engaging. Like, how do you translate the, the detailed truck and get people to actually show up in the city? Because I mean, we know, we know you got to be something that the city really believe in for them to embrace their they, they money, their time, all that. Like, how did that work, that come about? I think really bringing something new to the city and... And me just being making it funny, like mm-hmm. me making it funny, they they really didn't take it as a a, <laughs> a, a a real thing, you know what I'm saying? It was like a joke to everybody, right. and but this shit ended up hitting. My fucking started, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tune in, like ah oh, man, I'm gonna go fuck with bro, go get a car wash. <laughs> shit just was funny. Do you think part of the reason why uh, the detailing? truck and then going into the food truck you think part of the reason why they both were hits was because uh of the fact that people in memphis felt like you were one of them like i feel like one of the things that's hurting a lot of the up-and-coming artists and i have to i know you're not an artist but i have to compare you in that lane because of your rise it's artists like 
you do you think part of it is because a lot of people have gotten their first paycheck or two and immediately made the move to Atlanta, made the move somewhere to the West Coast, wherever they nah, could. Do you think, think to do, do you think the city of Memphis feels like, yo, this is one of like this dude? It's just a, it's a special connection, no? No, nah, I don't think that. Because mm. because the how they know that somebody else don't live in Memphis, right? I mean, like you know what I'm saying? Like how you know. Dolph don't live in here. How you know God it don't live? How you know you don't know that? What is it? You don't see them. Right. That, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they got nothing to do with it. Like I just think people fuck with me just because I ain't stuck up. Mm. I, I try to talk to all the people that mess with me. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't stuck up in person. Mm. I'm still myself. I don't let money um, make me or make me treat people different mm. or you know what I'm saying? I treat everybody the same whether you. Boosie or Dolph or got it. Like, I don't right. give a damn. Everybody hear me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, what? I think that's where the connection come in. I I show people that we hear me mm. at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? One of the first cosigns I saw personally outside of Dolph with you was YFN Lucci. No, nah, oh. it was Draymond Green initially. Draymond Green, because he invited you to the Memphis Grizzlies game. How did that, yeah. How did that come about? We met in L.A. Actually, I was living in L.A. I was down. Mm. And he was the first person. Like, my partner, who I went to school with, and uh, was his, like, kind of like his manager at mm-hmm. the time. And my partner was telling him about me. Like, oh, he be checking it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And he ended up fucking with me, like, mm-hmm. after the game. That's crazy. That was, yeah. a, that was a big moment. I yeah. think that one made some, some basketball blogs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That was a big deal. And now Zeke, I seen Zeke or Elliot fucking oh, with you. Zeke or Elliot, that's my boy. I love dude, man. Yeah. You a Cowboys fan? Are you even in the I, I, I'm a fan of whoever mess with me. Mm. That's how it always be. Like, I'm not even no fan of no team. Like, I'm a fan of Draymond Green because he right. mess with me. I'm a fan of Zeke or Elliot. I want him to win. He mess with me. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you actually not a, a bad basketball player from the highlights that I've seen. It's, actually not. I mean, you are. Right. I mean, I'm just saying for... I also saw a guy in high school, right? Did you see some of the clips of all the oh, dudes? Yeah, dude nice. Hooping, hooping. And I thought about you when I seen, bro. He most definitely hooped. How in the hell do you use that, like, just one arm? Because, I mean, essentially, motherfuckers... Because, look, it's like God take away something, but he gave mm. something else. And, like, he probably took away this. He took right. away this, but he gave me hard. He gave me, like, this, this, this ultimate hard. Like, I can do whatever right. I want to do, and I can do it. This is why I feel like this today. Like, I don't feel like nobody or nothing can stop me from doing what I want to do in life. Do you have people around you? If if Grove were to ever get the big head, do you have people around you that that you trust are not around you just because things are good? Is there is there is there somebody I don't in Grove? Don't worry crew? about that because they, I'm not like that. But it so can happen to anybody. Nah, it ain't right? never happen, bro. I don't care if it's I get fifty billion, bro. I'm not gonna act like that, bro. Be stuck up over no money because I know that shit don't do nothing but get more motherfuckers to kiss your ass, more motherfucking material shit that I don't need. So it ain't gonna never get me like that. You're capable of getting a big head. We've seen you. Nah, every now and then when you when the haters start oh, telling you, that's when I get the. That's I got you. I, that is the big head though. But you, head, though. Never, but you that ain't really the big head. This this stun on that head. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I mean, the big head is how you you treat other people. You okay. treat people. I don't treat people no type of way. Okay. I mean, one of the one of the best ways I've seen you treat people is car giveaways. I've never seen that one done outside of like a police auction or some shit like that. Some shit really wrong with the car. What in the hell made Grove Hero say, one of the ways I'm going to show love to the city is to give cars away? Because there's so many people who ain't got transportation. Mm. So many people... And I was one of them. I was one of them people who couldn't get around. People acting low down. I don't want to take a nigga nowhere. Mm. Like, bro, come on, bro. Gas, bro. You worry about some gas, man. Nigga just need to go to the store. Right. Nigga. I just know how important it is to have a car. Like, to have somewhere to be able to go. And being stuck in a house, mm. bro, you don't want to be stuck in no house. 100%. You know That's what I'm saying? You want, you want to get out. You want to do something. I know how important it is. So, I want to do that for the people. For the city, like, it's a lot of people still this day don't got transportation, can't get to work, paying somebody gas to get to work, 
Like, that's a big help to somebody. That's a life changer. Facts. So why not change somebody's life if I get it? I'm over there, got five cars in the yard, I ain't using that. Why not give it away, give one away, help somebody out who ain't got nothing? You you show your cars, you show a lot of your life. Do you ever feel like I'm showing? Because part of the re- the engagement you got to believe is because people feel like they know Grove Hero, yeah. even if they never met Grove Hero. Do you ever feel like you show too much out of your life? Oh, nah, not really. Mm. Because um, me showing everything is like it's like my story. It's like I'm telling my story. Do you think there will one day be a day where Grove has to pull back and take like a social media break? Like most I mean, definitely, most mm. definitely. I thought about that when I got out two or two. Mm. I said, man, I'm gonna take two weeks out. I ain't gonna get on this shit, man. I'm, I'm chilling. But it's just, I, uh, but I be cheating the people that fuck with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, these people wake up every day just want some motivation. They need some motivation. You? They got hard times. They, you know what I'm saying? It's mm. more than that with me. It's more than comment being funny. It's me talking to these people, telling them to put their guns down. Mm. Me telling people to stay strong, don't don't give up. It's just a lot, bro. Like I bring too much to the table to want to want to not be on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, you do. You do. Yeah. I, I, I've told you multiple times. Like you're just the only thing I say when I even a, a call with you, or if I copy, hop in your live or something like that. You're too important. That's how I end every combo with you. You're just you're, most definitely you're just too important right now. Like your vision, your where you're going, you just too needed right now. There are no more Grove heroes, and I and I'm not saying that just because you're in front of me. There legitimately is not another one of you around with, with what you've been able to accomplish. You know that's just being real as you get. Do you think um, if you? I was in a good group too. I want to. I want to transition here. You got a beautiful uh, chain on right now. It's beautiful. This thing is glistening, man. Glistening, man. This shit is crazy right now. You got to see this shit to believe. You got to see it in person. It. Uh, it has the letters P R E on it, sir. Could you please tell me the journey and what went in to you not only doing a music video for South Memphis's own Young Dolph, but taking that. And then finding a way to get into some type of agreement. Because I don't even understand what Grove signing to PRE even means. So did you a tell me? A lot of people don't understand. Well, that's why I'm asking you. What, 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 talk to me a little bit about how you met Dolph. I think it was at the music video, if I'm not mistaken, right? And then <sighs> kind of take me from there, how y'all got to a, an agreement. Man, to be honest, I don't think Dolph really knew what he was doing. Mm-hmm. It's just like... Dude just kind of fell in love with me, dog. Like, yeah. like, like, dude, like, it's like I'm kind of like him. He don't show, like, his giving and what he be doing, but dude is a real charitable, like, charitable person, bro. Like, I just seen this man go get somebody, did some $8,000, bro, going a mile, he in a mile, blowing. Like, bro, I just seen it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, a real one, bro. Like, we've seen the evolution of Dolph. Like, right after niggas, niggas, I, really, well, I, I want to say, like, it's like, I think you, I think you'd be hard on my boy. I got, it. I totally understand. I that. think you'd be hard on my boy. I think you'd be, you know, like, I think you shouldn't be so hard on. Like, it feel like everybody in Memphis against dude because of the beef or because of the like, dude, a real. I, I, he I, might do some some stuff that's. People don't understand, but he ain't entertainment. Like, I met Dolph. I met Dolph when Preach was bubbling. This is probably like six years ago. I'm in college, and and we he did a show, and after the show he said, "Follow me back to my hotel." As a matter of fact, uh, DJ Yo was his DJ at the time. That's how long ago this shit was. We did an interview at the hotel, and then after the interview was over, we talked for 20 minutes, and he was like, "Bro, this record Preach is gonna go." Mind you, this is the biggest record he's had to this day. I know Dolph is a good-hearted dude. The only thing that I've ever publicly been... And I don't even like the term hard, I feel like, is, is, is a little too much. But one would think that young Dolph plays into the public antics, sometimes maybe to even sell records or whatever. 
And one belief but if there, I, I if there is look, I ain't think the reason to be in a game to sell records. So what's the problem with it? Now, I'm gonna play devil's advocate with you. If you if Grove Hero is the gentleman playing or not playing, the Grove Hero is the guy preaching positivity. And you got this artist talking about some negative shit that could. Don't preach positivity though. I'm saying you. I'm saying you. We got a comedian or a, a businessman, a, an executive who's preaching positivity in you, and then you see somebody that you closely associated with in the same crew with, in in a, in a way he kind of what he's a direct. In a lot of ways, if you're attached to PRE, whatever he does is gonna look. You know, no. it could. It could. That's so, not true. You don't think I'm gonna tell you why it's not true because I'm my own person. Hundred percent. I can be with somebody and we build in something too, and it don't got nothing to do with me what he got going on over there. You never. Because I'm my own person. You never think. I think that's the problem with people. They they view stuff like the oh he paper route, so we ain't finna mess with him no more. We ain't gonna. That's lame. That's what. It's lame. It's like bro, I'm my own person, bro. You can't. It's like you and somebody in two. I'm supposed to not be cool, but we cool. I ain't supposed to be cool with him because you ain't cool with him. No. But I just got with you. Like, come on, bro. Like, I would never. Bro, that's childish, bro. We ain't kids, bro. Like, I ain't, I ain't doing it. My question is, if you're on a positive way, like you've always been, by the way, do you not look and think, okay, dang, my guy sometimes says some shit that can spark some up. In the city, you don't look at nah, it like that at all. Nah, How do you not see that? I don't look. Me? I don't look at that because this his journey, bro. This, I got you. This his journey. I this the you. route that he taking. Like I'm not taking that approach. I'm taking another route. Right. But you gotta think he is a rapper, bro. He is a street nigga. He is a person who Thanks. grew up in South Memphis and Castaia. Like, bro, like, what do you expect from him? You, you brought you know up. You told me I was too hard on dog. You brought it. What do you expect from him? Like. Somebody that shot you or got you shot at Allegedly. Allegedly. And, okay, when you rap about them too, when you say something too, it, if somebody shot you, you wouldn't keep saying or allegedly. I ain't saying he did that. Right, 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 right. You know? Right. But, or a sense nobody to do that. But I'm just saying, when you rap about that too? Um, what's wrong with him doing it? If, 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 if things didn't go in my favor at some point in time, I would leave it alone, though. How wouldn't it? How would you say it didn't go in his favor when he broke the bank every time? I'm that's gonna, going in his favor. Uh, I mean, that's debatable. Man, come okay, on. Okay, I, I, debatable. And I love man, the I, number one song is Honey Shots, man. It's, it's, it's the, the it's number the, one it's song. The anthem. Why? The most viewers he, he got on every video. 100%. But oh, is that. So what? what is we You talking? have to know dog plays into the antics sometimes. Now you're making me. That's one of my favorite rappers of all time. You're making me sound like I'm the anti dog guy, but you have to. You you definitely understand that dog plays into the antics sometimes. This is entertainment. It can't, Don't you play it, in the antics? It's, it, when it cross entertainment? Okay. My when it cr- you do the same shit. You, you play into antics. Um, you do the same shit if if, if it's some some shit coming on the news and you mm-hmm. what you finna do report it. You do the same shit. So how can you? hundred percent is different. No. You you said you said I was hard on Dolph. That you brought that to I'm the table and I'm addressing. Say something about that and you doing the same shit. I don't think I'm doing that. I don't put I don't put uh, gasoline on a fire. I don't think that's I, you. Definitely understand. Okay, let's take gasoline on the fire. You do it. No, I don't. Never. How do you not put gasoline on the fire if you interview two different people and and one person to say something? I don't think one person got to say, man, fuck dog, man, that nigga a bitch. This and and, and go along with the video. What you going to say? You ain't going to be like, man, you going to post this shit. And by the way, I've cut out plenty of clips like that. I'm just being real. Man, you ain't cut out no damn clip like that. Ain't been no clip like that. Ain't nobody said. How you gonna tell me who? Ain't no notable person said. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. I cut out some shit. I can tell you the end. You want me to tell you on camera? Tell me on camera. I cut out a clip of a, a, a youngster. Something he said about Rallo. That's one hundred percent. That's right. I'm talking about something. With, about with the, I mean, I mean, he wanted that artist wanted that out there. When, when youngster and, and Dolph, if you want to put names to it, youngster and Dolph were going through their situation. Anything I did in that interview with Youngster, he wanted out in the atmosphere. Clear cut his day. He would have hated if I cut some shit out. That's what he wanted out there. And I feel like we kind of venturing off a little bit off, 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 off the headline. Nah, we talking. Nah, we talking, but I'm saying I don't feel like we getting nowhere with that part of it. 
CMG, Paper Ride Empire. Does Grove Hero ever think there'll be a day when the two can come together and get some money together? No. Never will be a day. No. We ain't getting that Yo Gotti OG Boot Dirty moment on the stage. It will no. never happen. No. Okay. If somebody shot at you, would you do that? Me personally? No. No. If it okay, were me? Then. No. So, so can no. can you get money with people of, of CMG? With me? Yeah. You. Yeah, I could. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I could. But I mean, it ain't. Man, it, all this lying. It's right. like. All that can help, like, bro, if they was together, it's lying. 100% But it ain't lying because he got shot at. It ain't lying. It's lying, but it ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you see yourself with Dolph going for? Like, do you have any plans to do more music videos with it? Is there, like, a, a, a ultimate vision with him? Because you say he just was somebody who just believed in you and just saw something in you. Is there now, okay, this dude was somebody who rocked with me from the beginning. Now let me find a way to play, pay that for. Do you have you came up with some of those? Because y'all want a tour together, if I'm not mistaken. That one. Yeah, have, tour. have you came up with some of those plans to kind of like take the Paper Route Empire brand to the next level? It's already I, crazy. I feel it's like crazy. it's already going to the next level. Like one day, Doc called me and he said, "Bro, like if something was to happen to me today, Paper Route in good hands because mm. the stuff that you're doing. Wow, like really, bro, like." He is a giving person. He is a type that yeah. want to see positive stuff. He just in, in a time he he like to entertain. He like to rap about what he rap about. He got a core fan that mm -hmm. listen to what he's saying on music. So he gonna continually get them that music that they want. But in nationality, he's a positive person. Like mm -hmm. dude, love the stuff that I do. Like it be inspiring him to do stuff. Like mm -hmm. people don't know he didn't bought a building in his neighborhood. I don't know what he about to do with it, but it's like he didn't brought up stuff about man. He want to open up a barber shop and get kids and cash day mm -hmm. free haircuts for the every day. Like, mm -hmm. dude, the real one. It's just he get overshadowed by the CMG stuff and all the other stuff that, like, I don't know, bro. You've also invested into your community as well. Could you talk to me a little bit about the fact that? Uh, you not only purchased a crib in your hood, but you allowed somebody to live in it for a year rent free, if I'm not mistaken. Could, you, tell, could you talk to me? That, that is incredible, by the way, bro. Salute to you. Appreciate sure. um, Could you tell me a little bit more about what went into that? And, and, it, uh, and is, is there any part of you that wants to, I don't know, renege on that? Like, just kind of because you're dealing with the ups and downs of owning a home? Like, is, talk to me a little yeah, bit. There's a yeah. lot of ups and downs of owning a home, but. When you make everything new, it's not really mm. no problems gonna ever occur until it probably later, later, later. Mm -hmm. Everything new with the water system, the the flows, the 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 whole sheet rocking the, the the whole house, it's new. So it's like I ain't gotta worry about spray for bugs. The everything just a one. It's like brand new. You don't gotta worry about nothing. Have you ever thought about with your ability to engage your audience? Have has Grove Hero ever thought about going to a network or a company and engaging with they? Nah, not really, cause I don't like people shady, bro. Like mm -hmm. people about money, bro. I ain't about money. I like the position I'm in, bro. I like I like being the owner of what I uh, everything that I got going on. I just like it. No, I like being the owner. I don't like nobody. Hey man, you need to be trying to do this or trying to tell me what. Like, nah, I like to do what I want to do and do how I like to do it. No Nick Cannon and Wilder now that nah, Dobbins. You would nah, never do that? Nah. I, I would love to see nah, you on that. Nah, I, I feel I like really you can restore the feeling to that bad boy. Nah, because I really have my own. I really have my own, bro. You, you, I'm sure. It ain't even about the platform. It's like, that's the whole point of what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. I've been building my own self up. Like, from the, from the, like how Dog did. Right. Like, it's like I'm building my own platform. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I need to be on there and gain they fans and to get because this I still get watered down. That's why my fan base is so strong. Mm. It's because it's genuine. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I built it from scratch. I ain't got no fan base from her or her or her. It's come from me. 
You know what I'm saying? Are you already putting together the plays? Like, yo, I think in June, Instagram is going to have ads for every creator out there. You you might have already been contacted behind the scenes. You know, you, you know this has already been going on, right? I know, it's, I know it's available, but I think in June is when they're going to really put the, put the Brinks truck behind it. Have you already came up with some of the plans to empower this network financially? You know what I mean? Like, has... How how can Grow Hero take this to the next level? I go from however they, you know, position stuff, that's how I move. Mm. It's like I move with the position, you know what I'm saying? Do you uh, have concerns about losing your IG? I know that's happened a couple of times. It's, have you came up? Why don't you just create like a, a food truck IG or something like that? Why don't you just it protect? It ain't going to be the sign. I, I think it would be. If you can't, if you popped on that bad boy like once a week or some shit like that, I feel like you. It won't be what Grove Hero is, but I, how are you going? You got to protect yourself. I got my though. son paid though. Okay. And, right. I, and by the time my son get older, he'd be built up so much. It's like, it wouldn't even matter. They can't deactivate both of us. One thing we didn't touch is, and I don't like bringing people's kids into it, so I generalize this a lot. What is the motivation? Because I can't act like this is a common thing. Especially in a lot of a lot of homes and, and people of color, what is the motivation to not only be a part of, of son's life, but to show out and go above and beyond, and to just it's, it feels like we get to it's weird, right? We get to watch you raise your little one in a lot of ways. What is the motivation to not only be a great father for your kid, but to show other people you being a great father to your kid? I think that's the most important thing in life. Mm -hmm. I done brought him in his world. He didn't ask to be here. So I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And not only do what I'm supposed to do, but show other people what they should do if they bring somebody in the world because they didn't ask to be here. And I think this stuff I don't get credit for. Like people look at giveaways and mm -hmm. the comedy. And no, oh, it's important to take care of your kids and be there for your kids. It's important. Like so many people in, on, in this world, this black, in the black community, do not take her their kids. I can name so many people mm -hmm. that's with me that don't got their daddies in their life. Do you got your daddy in your life? We ain't, we ain't like You see that. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you ask a black man, do they got their daddy in their life? Nine times out of ten, it's going to be no. You know, so I think that's important. Like, <coughs> that was one of, the, one of the most important things ever. You know what I, I've, I've started the process of doing? And I don't know your situation, but I just wanted to throw this out there. Man, I done got real forgiveful for the black man over 50. Like, I didn't let all a lot of that pain and shit. This shit took time. Nah, I don't think... I, don't, I think forgiving is cool, but... bro, you got common sense, bro. You don't leave nobody out here. It's like, I'm hungry. Uh -huh. You go over here, it's food over here. But you go get the food and run off with the food. Come on, bro. You know that, that shit. Right. Right. That shit whack and wrong. No, that's not right. But I genuinely believe a lot of these niggas just didn't know what the hell. Nah, that ain't no excuse, bro. No excuses. No, no, no. no. I, I wasn't trying to speak to you. I wasn't trying to speak. To, that's one hundred percent foul. I, I wasn't speaking to your situation, but what I was just trying to say is, I've started the process of just being a little more understanding of certain things with that's the no, black man. No not that situation, but I'm saying generally <laughs> speaking, like just. With, like, with the, I'm hard about it when it comes to their father stuff, mm. bro. Like. Mm -hmm. I don't play this stuff, bro. Like, you don't leave no battle for dead, bro. You don't do that. How do you think people could kind of fix the stigma? Or how? what can be done to help with that? Doing what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Doing what I'm doing now, most definitely. So many people taking care of their kids now because I'm... I, it, I know niggas who I know who want to take care of their mm -hmm. kids. So I start to show people like, bro, yeah, you, you should... You know what I'm saying? Right, no, 100%. Yeah. Does Grove Hero feel like he's taken for granted with all the things that he's got going and all the positivity that he's trying to put in the atmosphere? Nah, not really. I feel like the the you can't reach everybody, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I understand it. It's like I'm reaching who I reach. I ain't looking for no handouts or nobody to be like, oh, bro, it's the most. Like I don't care about all the accomplishment stuff or yeah. accolades stuff. I don't care if I'm one of the top dogs in the seat. I don't care about that. What I care about is what I did in this life, what I did in this world, I did something positive. And I know for a fact that I did something that means something, mean well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? 
do you even consider yourself a comedian anymore? Because I, I told you off camera, I was like, yo, you know what's so crazy? Over the last few months with everything you've been able to accomplish with the tour that we're going to get into in a second here, I literally don't associate you with a handicapped comedian. I don't even think about either. I literally had to see you today in person and realize, oh, shit, my nigga, my nigga handicapped. Or my nigga is a comedian. Like just being around you, if you're, you know, if you're not doing like a skit or something like that or fucking around people on IG, I think executive now. I think boss now. Do you even have a plan to still incorporate the comedian side of the shit? Like, is that even even a part of your? Have you has shit just gotten so crazy for you? You've out. You just kind of surpassed that part of it. No, nah, I don't even think I even reached my funny yet. Mm. I just think you fun as a motherfucker. By the I way. just think you know, like I'm more than that though. It's like I'm everything. One hundred percent. I'm a father. I'm a motivator. I'm a um. A money getting that nigga, I'm a goddamn entrepreneur. Like, whatever, I'm all this shit in one. Do you think, if you, if there was a comedian out there and they're kind of like the way they did it, Kevin Hart's of the world went more of a mainstream type of ordeal, but he's still super business savvy. He owns a lot of that shit that he has. Mike Epps is a guy that. Seemingly has just wanted to focus on the funny and focus on entertaining the people. Like, is there anybody out there that Grove looks at and says, damn, man, I'm not trying to be that person, but what they're doing is dope. And I can see my lane somewhat having some little small pieces of that person's lane. Nah, well, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't too many people that inspire me. That's Cause just... people not even doing nothing, bro. Like we talking about money or we talking about some shit. I don't care about this. I wish you cared about the success more. Though. I don't care. I, 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 I appreciate I don't that you don't care, care about the money. I don't care about it because it's what, for what? To buy more cars, to buy a, a boat, a bigger house than I already get, to buy what? I'm not talking about the success to buy shit. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm leaving I'm the saying, money. I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you saying it, looking at somebody else's success and to see do I look up to their success or could I mimic their success? Yeah, I mean, I, I just would look, I'd appreciate if you cared more about some of the stats you're putting up. That's all. Outside of the money. I don't really care about stats or nothing like that. Got you, so I, I just never been that type of dude. For sure. I think maybe time will change a little bit of that, but we, I don't think so. we shall see. I think time will, I think, I do think uh, time will will make Grove care a little bit more about where he divvies up his time. I just think you're just going to be that type of nigga, that type of important nigga. Um, this tour that you just got off of, could you talk to me a little bit about everything that you had on the tour? Why was it so important, and how did this even come about, please, sir? To be honest, it was like the tour started. I just really did some shit. <laughs> it was like I did the same city tour. Mm. And then when I did a seven city tour, I just threw some shit in the earth. I'ma do a thirty city tour, and she, I ended up putting that shit together and did it. When Grove does a tour, it's not like he's going and performing in comedy. No, if it's your first time ever tuning in to Grove Hero. What Grove did was he took a detailing truck, a truck that sells. Fish and a lot of other incredible looking foods that I need to get a plate of at some point really soon. Uh, he took, I don't want to miss out on any of the truck. You had a merch funnel truck, cake. Funnel, funnel cut, cake. funnel cake, merch truck. He took it around 30, 30 cities around the country, testing out his fan base a little bit, seeing how much people rock with Grove. And from what I've seen, them bad boys were rocking. Did you sell out every day, though? Was it every day, but a couple? Or how did it? Two, two cities I didn't sell out. So you taking homies off the road, dudes who would have been somewhere. Doing selling dope for sure, selling dope or whatever in the city of Memphis. You taking people and literally giving them something else to do, man. Making decent money. It's weird. Like one thing I've seen you master is the art of the shout out. Right. It's almost like when people come get a plate. I gotta not only get a plate. But I gotta see Grove. I gotta take a picture with him. I gotta, I gotta holler him. This dude is, has been so much a part of my life. I now have to meet this dude, even to the point where people are willing to pay extra just to rock out with you. I've seen a little bit of backlash in certain cities about the love that people are showing to you. Does that ever at any point get to you? Because you know you come into these people. Definitely gets me sometimes. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, cause it be like you don't know me. It's right. like you just saying. 
Like most of the people that saying that don't know me for real. They don't even follow me. Mm. They don't even know who I am. They just like, why the hell y'all paying this money two hundred dollars for some place? Like I'm putting a gun to their head or something. I'm making. But even if like, bro, why is that your problem? Why mm. why are you so concerned about, about what somebody else doing? That's great. But I don't be concerned about what nobody doing. I don't care what John over there making, what he making, what he. I don't care. Whatever them folk doing, they doing mm -hmm. over there. I ain't got nothing to do with them. I don't be speaking on nobody else and what they got going on. Like, who cares? I'm worried about what I'm doing and how I'm building up this, what I got going. So for somebody to even speak down on me, like, I'd be like, but I'm learning that, you know, I'm learning now. Like, I ain't, this shit ain't getting to me now. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You said that if, if a few minutes ago you brought up taking the social media hiatus in, and then we just spoke on that. No, I just did that. I was just saying that for my son purpose. Like, because mm. I, I ain't had no time my son. Like, I, I just got 36 tour. That shit took a month and a half. Then I come back. Now I'm shooting boots and movies. And, and, and right now, what is like five o'clock in the morning, is, four o'clock in the morning? It is very late. All right, so I've been shooting the, the movie all day. So we're shooting this interview at the beautiful estate of Bootsy, yeah. right? And I'm here. With Most Grove. definitely. I'm here with Grove, and I had the, the pleasure uh, for like an hour or so watching him and uh, other comedians cook up. And uh, him and Desi Banks, they're cooking up here in this film for Boosie. I thought this was the My Struggle film. I was just told by Joe. Nah. Y'all doing something different. What exactly are you doing with Boosie? Matter of fact, how did y'all even... One day I just seen you on, you posting in this nigga, on this nigga, uh, in this nigga bedroom or something like that. Like, how did that come about and what exactly are you doing with Boosie right now? Well, we shooting up like the, the black version of Home Alone. It's called Where's MJ? Mm -hmm. His son playing Macaulay Culkin. Like, Oh, he man. just fucking us over, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we trying to break into the house, trying to, man, get boosting money or, like, just trying to steal some stuff from Boosie yeah. and his son letting us have it. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that this nigga Boosie then came up with an idea to do a black home alone? Yeah. And he felt, I, what, what do you think, has he told you why you were one of his picks for the film? Like what? what he just like you silly, bro. Like you silly, bro. I need somebody silly. I need somebody like you, bro. A hand like yours, bro. It's like be tough. Was Boosie one of the artists you grew up on listening to? Yeah, legend in the city. Of yeah, Memphis, Memphis loved them some oh, Boosie. Definitely. Yeah. If you got any? If you had four other artists to add to Boosie, we got well three. We already got Boosie, Jeezy. What would Grove stack up as his Mount Rushmore of artists? 50 Cent for sure. 50 Cent. You mentioned this earlier. 50 Cent a goat, bro. Mm. You watch Power? Nah, but his music like that. They um, Get Rich or Die Trying Junk, bro. That junk. Hard. Every Tough. song, Tough. bro. Hit. Jeezy, every song. Mm. Uh, motivation 101. Recession. Man, uh. Of course, Dolph. Let me one more name. Hmm. One more night, bro. I'm going with Rick Ross. Rick Ross, have you met him yet? Nah, I ain't never met Ross. Man, man I'm going T.I. too, man. T.I. was hard. T.I. was definitely. I feel like T.I. might be probably already up on your mind. Man, fabulous, man. Fabulous. God damn, hard. bro. You done went from, from, from three Shit. names to eight in about 30 seconds. Fab yeah, you just hard, naming niggas. Fab was hard. Fab was hard, for sure. What um, what's the future like for Grove? The next, the, the foreseeable future. Are we doing another tour this year? Are we hold, are we pulling back and kicking in with Sun a little bit and kind of celebrating some of the wins? What well, what is the future like for Grove Hero? Bro, I never know. It's mm. just I keep moving and it happens, but it's gonna be big because this movie. I got some stuff cooking up with Dolph. I got some stuff cooking up on my own. Like it's it's gonna turn up. It's gonna most definitely turn up. Well, I'm looking forward to everything that Grove Hero has in store. The next time we do this, we're going to definitely do it in the studio for sure as well, man. I don't know, Grove. I feel like Grove Hero, Grove Hero's story one day will go up in the rafters. I was talking to somebody 
from Memphis that knows a lot about the city of Memphis, and we were actually going through and ranking some of the Memphis greats and their impact. And you never told me the <laughs> ranking. What's the ranking? I know you're in that mix. I know Curtis Givens is am in that mix. Am I top five? You top ten, for sure. You top ten today. Come on. Top ten in three years? Put together. That's a, Come you, on, You want to cut to be number one in like five years. I, how come you can't take the flowers of three and then we, I mean, or, or top on, ten man. and go top from there? 9, 10, 9. We're not doing that right now. Why we can't? We're not doing that. Why we can't? I told you a couple off cam. I nah, said. why we can't? You you talk about it, motherfucking thing else. Yo, that is a misconception. No, nah, hey, you talk about it. Let's hey, talk hey, about who. We, I want these folks. Let, let's talk about who the top. Let's, yo, let's talk. Yo, we didn't have this combo real quick. I, oh, no, real here quick. we go. Here we go. One thing that is baffling to me is the stigma Grove Hero has given me. He's, through, he's throwing a couple sublims at it. Grove thinks I talk about every and anybody in the worst way possible. So I get I, I ain't never say I, that. I, you did. You you, you pretty much just way. This is the fifth time you just said I'm that. I'm just trying to see who the top ten. But like if I'm in a top ten, like who is now I can probably name three notable people in the city for sure. Well hold on, we didn't off get- three six mafia and yo got it. Who else who else would be I mean, you you get you gotta say somebody like money bad because he what he doing. You gotta you gotta. You know what I'm saying, but who else? You gotta throw Zebo in that mix. He's done Zebo a, not from Memphis, but he but he he, he damn near is. He de- wait, I never set off the disclaimer okay. you had to be from okay, Memphis okay, by the okay, way. Okay, by the okay. way, Zebo for sure though. Zebo is damn near from wait, Memphis. What's this? Is there four? We have four five names. It's five. Throw Curtis Givens in there, but that's weird. Curtis Givens gets weird because he prov- he's provided entertainment for the city. For tw- for twenty years, that that has to be okay, brought up. Well, who else? I said top ten, nigga. I didn't give you five names. I didn't say. I said you're in the top ten. You said top three, oh, and I man. said, I, oh damn. I said you top ten for sure. You could be five or six on that list. You no, said top I three. I don't really care. I'm I gotta sure. humble you a little bit. You you you. you I ain't I, say top three yet, nigga. My I nigga. Just want to give you some yeah. conversation. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I just really want to see what y'all were talking about. Y'all were talking about this shit. You were talking about having a motherfucking bet. What the fuck you were talking about? <laughs> you, talking about having a bet. Well, you're yeah, that thing, bro. Oh, what oh, the oh, fuck you were talking about? Well, 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 let's talk about me for a second. How did you find out about me and my platform? If if, if you don't mind me asking. Man, one day you was on. You said some shit about me and somebody <laughs> sent the shit to me. Okay. Uh, and I'm like, man, what the fuck? The fuck this nigga talking about? Who the fuck is this nigga? Yo, you know what's crazy? And I told then and I seen you. Like, you be doing your thing, bro. I fuck with you. You know what's crazy uh, uh, about um, some of the things I've been able to accomplish? Everybody only sees the negative. But with a guy like Grove, I remember bringing up Grove on my platform two, three years ago. And you have said some good things about me. You know, but the negative is what's going to control the headlines. Nah. I did a video about Grove, uh, uh, with, with Grove, and we don't need to get far in de- for that far in detail, but I'll bring it up in this regard. I'll say this. I think I popped into one of your IG lives or something like that. And you was like, yo, we got to have a conversation about that. And I'm assuming that was because I said something that Grove didn't didn't like. And, and, and the only thing that... that I don't be in my feelings like you this. You good? Like, I just be... And you comedians being y'all feelings, nah, man. I'm, I'm, learning, mean, I'm learning it now. I'm learning comedians okay, being... so have you saying me and my feelings? I don't be in my feelings. I don't I think, be caring nothing about this shit. I think you care a little bit more when I, than what I have thought. To play, nah. for who, especially being the guy that, that, that always jokes... Like you, you do. was lying. I don't <laughs> care about this shit. I'm, I'm, if I could, I wouldn't be doing an interview with you. I got you. And you know, yeah, you I, just I dealt you. with it. I got you. I got no, uh, you. Know. <laughs> I, think, nah, I ain't like that, bro. Like, I, I understand you got a platform. Yeah. And people want to hear news. They want they want some shit to, oh, bro, this is what went on. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? So I understand. It ain't your fault. This is the end of time. This is what, what you in. Want. So I'm cool with it. Whatever you act, whatever. I don't give a damn because I know it's for the fans. People want to know. Like, that's the whole point of the interview. Right. For you to tell folks what's going on and what happened and this and, yeah. you know. I mean, man? people want to know. It's reporting news. Yeah. It, so you it, ain't doing nothing wrong. I respect everything you're doing. Well, well let's talk about this, damn it. We, we, we from around the way and you've been able to do some incredible things. I think, let's end with this positive right here. With your money. Uh, let's just throw that out there first. Let's make that clear. With your money, because you got a lot of it. With your money, um, and maybe my brain, and whatever else I can add to the table that ain't money, because I ain't got Grove Hero money. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Because I do feel like 
I'm not trying to play no compare game, but we are very important voices for a city in a in an area that ain't got a lot of them. What can we do in the future? And I, you know, maybe this is some shit that we 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 talk about a year or two down the line, whatever. What can we do? And when can we come together and like brainstorm something that can help like the next generation? Obviously, you're doing that day in, day out. So it's up to me to meet you halfway, by the way. In my world, I'm not saying you you put you you saying any of that. I, I love what you're doing. I like that competition. For me, that's that's how I like competing. I like saying, okay, this nigga's doing this and that. Let me step my game up. You know, whatever in that regard. What can we possibly do? What are, and maybe take me out of it, whatever. Like what what are you thinking are ways to like help change shit going forward? Try to bring people together, bro. The more people come together, the more we stop being so materialistic and stuff. We can we can try and just stuff because the the generation coming up seeing people get money and have money and all this shit and buy material shit and they feel like they gotta kill somebody to do it mm. they feel like they gotta see a dope to do it they feel like they gotta become a famous rapper to do it it's like you in entertainment you you should show them other ways like you doing right. you reporting you doing this mm-hmm. you show people you give money I report. I do. Just like I'm showing people I'm getting money off comedy. Well, we ain't getting as much money as bro. Come on, bro. Getting, uh, yeah. We ain't getting a lot of money. Right now. You having it right now. Let's just be clear. Let's just make sure we You having it right now. Come on. Right. This is ridiculous. Bro. I just got this Jesus, right Mary, here. and Joseph. This is ridiculous. I just bro. got this right here. He's, from bullshit, right he's still in here complaining about money. He's, he's saying somebody. Just you you still in here complaining about money. You have this shit right now. Uh, Life is good for Grove Hero right now. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. All right. Uh, I just got this, this, this just a little, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, so I'm telling you now, if you watching this, you ain't got to be no rapper to get these. You don't got to sell no drugs to get these. You don't got to set your friend up to get these. Mm. You don't got to uh, sell no ass to get these. You, you know what I'm saying? You might have to sell some ass. No, you yeah. might have to sell some ass. <laughs> 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 we'll tell the verb, I'll be gay. I'm engaged. Yeah, but yeah, my boy gay. So <laughs> but look, to get these, you don't gotta sell your soul. You don't gotta go rob nobody. You ain't gotta steal from nobody. You can be genuine, a positive person, a good person, and still be that nigga and get money. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the problem. Y'all look at rappers and think they the only ones that got the juice. I ain't the only ones that got the juice, cause I got the juice. His name, his name is Joe. I got a Lamborghini, and I got this money, and I went on a thirty city tour and sold out every city but two. I did that. I want a Lambo. You, you see, so you ain't gotta. Don't look at these rappers and look at all these people and feel like my partners got money. Hold on, my partners got money. Like I ain't the only one with money. You know what I'm saying? My partners got money. I, you, you dig? So don't look at it like. I gotta be a drug dealer. I gotta be a rapper. I gotta be an athlete. You don't gotta do that. And maybe I can have some of that money. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Grove Hero, ladies and gentlemen. Family, I really appreciate you inviting me out and allowing me to just get to build with you a little bit. I feel like we built today more than anything else. I got I'm just th- happy that you ain't talking about no negative shit. And that's a blessing. Now, we done did this whole interview. I found a way to kind of talk about some stuff. You know what I mean? Without talking about some stuff. We I'm proud of you. Look, man, I do positive interviews all the time. The negative the negative storylines about me are all fictitious. Come on, man. We this is, come on, It's a positive yeah. platform. Grove Hero is his name. I am rocking with this dude um, no matter where his journey takes him. Look, man, if you got to put up with a couple of insults, I don't give a damn. Even if he if he, if he takes me out in the, in the process with a couple of jokes, we could take him because this brother's journey and what this dude is doing for the city, like I said, bro, it's just too important. His name is Grove Hero. He's an executive. He's a boss. He's an employer. He's a father. He is... It's a good black man to me, a positive person that I'm riding with to the bitter end. Grove, I thank you so much for rocking out with your boy, man. I really appreciate, appreciate it. you, my boy. Hey, all y'all watching, don't forget what I just said. Because so many of y'all blindsided over money, over material stuff, and over stuff you don't need. Look, wake up. Don't be like these other dudes out here going to jail. Do not go to jail. Do not let these people make no money off you. Do not go kill nobody. Do not go rob nobody. Shit lying. This shit ain't gangster. What well, gangster is right now is feeding your family. It's finding a way to pick up a lawnmower, pick up some clippers, cut some motherfucking hair, 
or goddamn selling some t-shirts or goddamn shit going to do her like whatever the fuck like some shit that's going excel getting a food truck go wash some cars like we making this shit cool we ain't making um eating 30s and 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 smoking weed all day and we ain't doing it bro what's, what's gangster is what i'm doing what's gangster is getting hit yeah. by boosie's son with paintballs for yeah day. Three days and almost drowning in a goddamn pool because your ass was full. As a matter of fact, we got to hear him because boo is going to get His name is Grove Hero. Thank you for, for the time, love, and support. Y'all know is what we would never take for granted around here. It's Grove Hero and your boy, Mr. Telefer. With that being said, we are out. Frazier, what's poppin'?